When I came, Ursi was one of the few women, right, who were here, but also the only one that was studying humans, right. which is interesting given that Jonas, you know, cured polio. You know, it was something that had a huge impact on many families and right. individuals back in the 60s. But it was, it was really fascinating to see how well she could do within this environment, you know, amongst all the gene jocks. And so I, I always admired the, her ability to work, as you say, integrate as a, as a, get people to work with her from many, many different parts of the Institute and many parts of the world. It was, it was really a special talent she has. Well, she has a long list of achievements in her career, um, and they go back to her original interest in sign language, interestingly, where she established that um, sign language is in fact a language and that it's a part of the brain that's involved in uh, verbal language and written language and sign language has a, a central role within the central nervous system. Um, this was a, a key feature, one of the key features of her discoveries. And then as she moved into understanding not just about language, but also our emotions and how we respond to language and how we respond to communication between each other, she was able to uh, identify and directly get involved with Williams syndrome as a neurological syndrome that was involved in affect. And I think she highlighted this to the community in many ways. She is the one who really put the cognitive deficits associated with Williams on a concrete footing. She did, the, I think, the, the definitive characterization of what they consist of and delving into them in a very sophisticated way to really understand not just generally, but very specifically and in a lot of depth what the, what the deficits are. And they're very subtle and very, and, and therefore, somewhat hidden and you have to really be clever in figuring out how to bring them out and that's what she's been a master at doing. The phenomenon had been known for quite some time but it took really I think Ursula's sort of deep background knowledge about the puzzles of language and what it takes to speak a language and her deep deep interest in the relation between behavior and the brain. It took that very special combination to see how extraordinary this phenomenon of Williams syndrome really is. And so, so she, I, 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 there would have been lots of people who might have done it and who might have seen these children, but for whom this powerful research light, as it were, just didn't go on. And it did in her. She, as far as I know, has been studying Williams Syndrome longer than anyone in the mm -hmm. Williams Syndrome research community. And I wonder if you could give us your thoughts on what her contributions have been. Well, uh, I think it was bringing the possibilities of Williams to the attention of the scientific community. Uh, it was bringing this uh, a very special group of people and their, their special qualities, both genetic and um, social and neuropsychological, and especially the, the intersection of the three, uh, to the attention of the research community and so that the research community would understand that um, the opportunities for understanding you know, our own genetics sociability and uh, neuropsychology? Well, I think Ursula is masterful in uh, many different ways. Um, most importantly, I suppose, it's the, her ability to, to really make personal connections. She is an, an, an amazing scientist, um, so I can't imagine anyone better um, studying Williams. She pays particular attention to details. She likes to bring together some of the best people. She has very high standards. She loves what she does and she loves Williams. Uh, and that has an effect on, on how she is seen by her peers. And I, I want to think also 
by the families um, in the way she brought everybody together. I think Ursula has uh, such an amazing character and she's able to drive people from different fields to work on uh, different aspects of Williams syndrome and I can tell that that's exactly what happens to me. She, she, she wanted to make sure that I, I, I meet with the parents, I meet with uh, the individuals with Williams syndrome. So she organized this whole thing at the SOC and I think she does that periodically and, um, and, and, and make sure that I was there, that I, I, I meet with different people. So in a way, I mean, she was so comfortable in that environment and it was so different to me. I was, uh, I, I was learning about it. And, um, but I think that that, that, that causes me like um, a huge impression, not only on, on her, but on the syndrome itself. And, and I think she was the one who, can, who could make that link. Well, you know, Ursula uh, has an enthusiasm that, uh, and an openness that is, is very powerful and contagious. So, uh, you know, she will grab you and say, let's have dinner, and she'll just talk about Williams the whole time. Uh, you know, she, she is extremely open and she is extremely persuasive. But of course, the other aspect of, of Ursula as a researcher is that she is so persistent. She persists to the last detail. And if there's a further question, she goes after it and goes after the next one. And so, so her, her very unique kind of determination and, and sort of scientific lust, you might also almost say, um, I, I, I think made her a special, very, very special researcher. We were applying for funding and uh, as you know that's a lot of hard work and uh, deadlines and teamwork and uh, I remember coming in one morning and uh, Ursula saying, well I didn't have time to go home last night so I brought a sleeping bag with me and this is where I spend the night in my sleeping bag, so I can keep going uh, first thing in the morning. In the in the morning, uh, so that really that really captures a, a lot of, of her spirit. Um, she is a very emotional human being. That may be part of why she has enjoyed so much working with Williams syndrome um, individuals, kids especially because of that aspect of her personality. She's enthusiastic and emotional and really has a wonderful heart. I, I think that it's important to realize that she's not only been um, a pioneer in the research, but she's, she's been an inspiration.